Infamous with your Madden 13 Ultimate Team update number 4. A lot of stuff to go over including some new pointless matchup collections this week. Starting off with the coin up challenge from last week. Victor Cruz did not come through for us so as a result we received a whopping 500 coins for throwing him into that collection. Those of you that don't have your own Victor Cruz for the amount of coins you receive in return, you might be better off keeping him for your team. All you would have to do is play one of the solo challenges and right there would earn you the same amount of coins or more. Among the other collections released, two of them were the offense and defense playbooks which have the same coin reward as the jerseys and stadiums. The other one is called the Hardest Working Man Collection, and so far I would say of the collections we have to choose from, this is definitely one of the better ones. If it wasn't for Patrick Willis being in this collection, I would probably already had this collection done, but until he becomes more readily available, I'm in no hurry to complete this collection. The reward you receive is of course a 99 overall Gold Ray Lewis as seen here, which is auctionable and tradable. Week 1 fantasy cards were also released this past week as well as all the solo challenges to go along with them. You could pull these in Pro, All Pro and Legendaries. I bought a couple Legendaries in an All Pro and did not receive any of the fantasy cards. So rather than try my luck pulling them from packs, I went with the sure thing and bought all 9 off the AH. The 10th one David Akers you receive for completing all 10 of those week 1 solo challenges in sequence. After collecting all of those, you also unlock the Week 1 Team of the Week Challenge. In that challenge, they put all the Week 1 Fantasy players on a team played on All Madden difficulty with 7 minute quarters. And should you win, you receive 3000 coins plus a boosted Week 1 Hero RG3. I did decide to record this game. I know I've been slacking on putting gameplay up in my vids, so I'm going to try to include more in for each update starting with this one. So moving on to that gameplay, the Redskins received the ball first and my defense came up with a sack on second down which left them with this long third and 13. RG3 steps back and throws a quick pass to Morgan, however Woodson right there with him shoves him out of bounds forcing them to punt. Very first play of the drive, I hit Michael Irvin towards the sideline. Redskins safety Tenard Jackson misjumps the pass and Irvin would go on to take it all the way to the house for the first touchdown of the game. So early on I take a 7 point lead. After forcing the Redskins with another 3 and out I was faced with a 3rd and 11. I see Deshaun Jackson open running towards the end zone however he could not hold on to the ball. This left fantasy David Akers with a 50 yard field goal attempt. The kick was up and good right down the middle and with that kick increased my lead to 10. So it's now about 3 minutes left in the second quarter. Redskins making a drive down the field. RG3 steps back and tries to hit Fred Davis toward the sideline, however Deion Sanders was all over that play and picks this one off and returns this for a pick 6. So clearly not the same RG3 that I remember from week 1, my defense continues to shut them out in the first half. 50 seconds left before the half, the Redskins now in field goal range, 3rd and 2. RG3 tries to hit Aldrick Robinson in the back of the end zone but denied by primetime. That would force them to settle for the field goal. Akers makes this one no problem so the Redskins finally getting on the board with 3. In the third quarter now trying to kill as much clock as possible with the 7 minute quarters. I finally make my first mistake. Walter Payton gets hit and loses the ball. Redskins recover with good field position. Third and 15 trying to force the Redskins to another 3 and out. RG3 finds Josh Morgan wide open across the middle. First and goal at the 4, handoff to Alfred Morris who punches it in cutting the deficit to 7. So the score now 10 to 17. I march down the field taking a good amount of time off the clock. They stop me here with a 4th and 6 leaving Akers with a 40 yard kick. He would make this no problem so I go back up 20 to 10. Holding them to a 3rd and 5, RG3 sees Tamba Holly coming from his right. Tries to scramble and runs right into Derek Brooks causing a fumble. Mean Joe Green will scoop this one up and return it to the end zone. My defense forces yet another 3 and out for the Redskins and realizing they have no shot to win the game, punt the ball on 4th down. The only thing left for me was to down the ball and that will be your final in this one. Final score 27-10. So in the end the Redskins could not really get anything going offensively against my defense. They were less than 50% on third down conversions. None of the fantasy players on that team had any impact in that game. 
The reward for completing the game is the same RG3 except this one comes with a plus one boost to route running. So really for the amount of coins I spent to get this week one fantasy collection done, the reward was not really worth it. However, you have to figure that that RG3 may go into a future collection. Fantasy Ogletree has been taken out of packs as well as the rest of the week one fantasy players. Your week two fantasy players are now available in packs. This week they have done things a little different. They have split this week's fantasies into two different collections, one high overall and one low. You are also now guaranteed to receive a fantasy player in a legendary pack. I finished the low overall fantasy collection in which the reward is 5,000 coins plus a fantasy 90 overall Reggie Bush. I'm working on the second, just waiting on a Clay Matthews and Eli Manning. Demeco Ryans you received for completing this week's fantasy solo challenges. And the reward for completing the week 2's team of the week challenge is a boosted Eli Manning. More pointless matchup collections are also available. For the 2,000 coins you receive for these, you're better off selling the two cards that go in them, which would give you more than 2k. To me, I still think it's more useful to throw them in the team collections, but they really need to raise the coin amounts with these, or at least give us a free pro pack for each one we complete. The new coin up challenge released gave you the option to choose who will have the better game between Vernon Davis and Calvin Johnson. Once you completed both games you received this Vernon Davis card in which you have the option to keep him or turn him in for Megatron. I chose to turn Davis in because I figured Mega would have the better game. However as you guys may have seen Davis had two touchdowns so as a result those that chose to keep Davis will receive 2500 coins. Those that turned in Mega will only receive 500. New legends are out, LT, Falk, Rice, and Elway, along with coaches Vermeil, Gibbs, and Walsh. They also put out a couple more Ultimate Legend collections, Ronnie Lott and Kurt Warner. Most of you seen from my earlier videos that I already had the Ronnie Lott key card. I pulled the 99 from a pack last week, so the only card I needed for that collection was the Bill Walsh card you received for completing the new legendary West Coast Offense Solo Challenge. I do have highlights from this game. This play was right before the half. Alex Smith throws a Hail Mary pass to the end zone to try to take the lead. The man who leads the NFL in interception return yards, Ed Reed, would pick this one off. So we went into the half with my Ravens leading 7-3. I received the ball at half and made a drive down the field in the red zone at the 13. Here was faced with a third and 10, dropped back, and didn't really see anyone open in the end zone. So rather than risk the interception, took off running out of bounds. Settled for the field goal, so the score was now 10-3. Played this game more conservative than normal and try not to give up any big plays. 49ers started driving down the field with a quick pass to Vernon Davis. Here on 2nd and 6, Alex Smith goes play action and lobs a pass to Michael Crabtree. Neither one of my defenders could bring him down or push him out of bounds. He keeps his balance and dives into the end zone, so the game was now tied at 10. With 3 minutes left trying to kill clock, I find Shannon Sharp across the middle for a first down already putting me in field goal range. A couple of nice runs lead up to this 3rd and 8. I try to hit Sharp again in the end zone, however he can't hold on to it. Incomplete which brings up 4th down. Leaving the rest of the game up to my defense to finish the game, I send old man Blanda out for the field goal. The kick is good so now my lead is only 3. 49ers making moves down the field go no huddle with 40 seconds and two timeouts left. Alex Smith sees Vernon Davis crossing the middle of the field, lobs it to him and he makes his way into field goal range stopped at the 24. They use one of their remaining timeouts and stop the clock with 24 seconds. Alex Smith changes the play up, steps back and throws to his fullback Bruce Miller. That play only good for a few yards. They hurry up back to the line and the clock continues to run. They let it go down to 5 seconds then burn their last time out. So here I'm thinking okay they take the field goal here and we settle this in overtime. To my surprise they elect to go for it. So Alex Smith and the rest of the offense are that confident that they can score on my defense. I back out into a zone. They snap the ball and hand it off to Frank Gore. Derek Brooks comes over to make the tackle, and with 5 seconds left, that's not enough time to spike the ball, so the game was over. Absolutely no idea why this all Madden CPU thought they could run the ball and score in that situation, but nonetheless, I get the victory. 
As a result, received that coach card, which after turning him in, received that two-star legendary Ronnie Lott. A friend of mine, WWE fan Remy, offered me the Rod Woodson key card for 25k. I took him up on that offer and with that key was able to get the two-star Rod Woodson. So shout out to him for hooking me up for that card. Other notable pickups for my team include Legendary 99 overall Michael Irvin, Warren Moon, Mean Joe Green, Troy Aikman, and the 92 overall Jerry Rice. I did manage to finish my first team collection, that being the Cardinals. I received a key pack for that collection and now have three. I'm going to save those for when more Ultimate Legend collections become available. So that will do it for this update. Any new promos that would come about for this weekend, I will be sure to let you guys know about them. This is Infamous, and I'm out. Peace.